So now that we've migrated both the card and the spinner components over from AngularJS to Angular, this now lets us migrate the list component, the person list component from AngularJS to Angular because now all of its dependencies have now been migrated or upgraded. Now again, just to reiterate, this is the way I recommend that you do your migration. You don't have to do it this way. You can also upgrade an Angular JS component so it works inside an Angular component, but I much prefer going from the leaves upwards and just migrating everything, the lower level stuff up, and then when you can, then move the higher level components up. So this is the way I recommend doing it. So what we're gonna do in this lecture is upgrade the list component over to Angular, then again, we're gonna to have to downgrade it because it's gonna to have to exist in an Angular JS context. And I'm not gonna do this in this lecture, actually, that's because the eventual code that I want you to see on GitHub, if you were to look at, I want you to see all of the code. Uh, I don't want you to see me deleting anything, but if you did want to, uh, at this stage, you could also remove the downgrades on the card and the spinner component, just because, well, they're not needed anymore because they're only going to be used from an Angular context and not an Angular JS context. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do in this lecture. Let's get started. Now we should all know the drill pretty well right now, so let's just get let's just get going with it. So I'm gonna basically create a component class, just like so. Let me create some space here. And it's gonna be called person list component. So let me just rename that there. Let's add a component decorator to here. And we don't have any bindings or control or anything else to deal with there, so we can just close it out right there. Now we need to go back into our personless component, and you see here we've got a contact service that we need to inject in, and we've done this quite a few times before, so I'm just gonna copy and paste some code in, just like so. So I've injected, well, I'm calling, I'm manually injecting in the contact service. Let's start actually including in some of these dependencies. So the inject, go to core, component, let's add that, add that to core. And then we've got the contact service as well. So let's include that. And let's just make sure we're using the right path, which is upper folder. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's make sure, let me format, the document, excellent. Looks pretty good. Let me, I think the good point now is to actually just add this to our ng module. So let me go into main.ts and just like all the others, I'm gonna add that in. And again, because it's gonna be used in a downgraded context, it needs to be as an in an entry component and as declarations. So let me add an import for that above. I should probably figure out how to, how VS codes uh, make it stop adding the source app there, but um, I'm, in, I'm in a flow now, so I'm just gonna carry on going. So let me go back into the list component and let's just finish this off. So the, the next thing we need to do is basically downgrade this to AngularJS. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of code at the bottom here. Again, you should be used to this by now. There should be no surprises here. So we create a directive, the person list, and I'll add the component as a person list component and I'm going to downgrade it so let's import that at the top and uh, let's make sure we're importing things in the order I like them to be imported in excellent okay so the application actually looks pretty good right now I think the next thing I like to do is again I like to just go through and uh, now I like to go through the template code and just clean that up a little bit now I'll come back to this infinite scroll here in a second because this is one of those third-party libraries that I'm using and, and I'm going to uh, have to figure out a solution for this. And the solution I'm gonna figure out, or I'm gonna use for this component is there is actually a modern Angular infinite scroll component and uh, our third party library and I'm going to use that instead. But now let's actually have a take a look at implementing, uh, moving these over to Angular. Now, even though CC card is something that we have written in Angular, and then downgrade it so it could be used in Angular JS. It is actually available now as an Angular component, and we're rewriting this as an Angular component. So the difference is in Angular we don't use this uh, hyphenated case. Sorry, I've been calling that wrong. It's not called snake case. It's called kebab case. Snake case 
is that underscore. So kebab case is this. So again, in Angular JS, it uses kebab case. In Angular, we use camel case. So we can just basically rewrite that as CC card. And also in Angular, we don't have ng repeat. We now have ng4. So I'm going to use that like so. So we're going to use ng4 with a let person. I'm going to loop through the contact persons array. And then because, well, because even though we were using this in AngularJS context, we had to use this special square bracket syntax. Um, that is actually full on, that's proper Angular syntax. We can just leave that as it is. And again, we've got an ng show here. So I'm going to replace that. In fact, I'm going to replace that with an ng if actually. So let me just go ahead and replace that. So exactly the same logic, but I'm just going to replace it with an if. And then here, it's actually, actually, I think I wrote that in wrong all the way. So that shouldn't be control search, it should be contact search. And then here, CC spinner. Again, we have already migrated this from AngularJS to Angular. So now we can use the, the proper Angular component syntax. And again, that is camel case, not a kebab case. And then interestingly here, even though we're using the square brackets as we would use in Angular, uh, because this attribute is now, well, because now we're using an Angular syntax and Angular is kebab case, we would then change that to kebab case. And obviously, we're not using control anymore there. So that should be fine for the CC spinner. Okay, that's the template mostly sorted. The next thing we need to deal with is this infinite scroll above. Now, as I said, what we're going to do, there's three options whenever dealing with third party modules. You can either rewrite it from scratch, uh, find a more modern version of the module which works with Angular instead of Angular JS, or you can temporarily upgrade it, but then you eventually you're gonna have to choose one of those two solutions before you drop Angular JS. So in this one, I found an, a more modern version of Infinite Scroll, and we're going to use that instead. So let's just install that to begin with. Now it's actually called Angular 2 Infinite Scroll. So I'm gonna add that and save it to package JSON. Now you're gonna find a lot of these things are called Angular 2. And that's because when Angular, when modern Angular was first being uh, developed, we all just called it Angular 2. And only afterwards do we now call modern Angular just Angular and the old Angular, Angular JS. And now modern Angular, the, the version numbers increase kind of once every six months. So uh, I, I fell into this trap as well. I called a lot of this stuff Angular 2 for a long time. Unfortunately, it's hard to kind of go around and change all of your uh, GitHub repo names to kind of match the modern syntax was actually the, now what we call it is ngx that's the kind of the, the the syntax now is ngx x implying it's a it's a community uh, angular module that's what we would call it now but unfortunately it's not their fault it's just the way 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 the the cookie crumbled and we're going to find a lot of these modules are called angular 2 but don't worry about it it doesn't mean it only works with angular 2 it works with probably works with with even the, the latest version of angular as of right now or as of when you're working on it Okay, so now that's installed. Let's next thing we need to do, we need to add it to let me get rid of there. We need to add it to my ng module here. So I'm gonna add it un under ladder module. So it's all kind of in the same place. And I'm gonna import it at the top. So now that those infinite scroll directors are now available again in Angular land. So now if we go back into person list, and I need to change these to now the new style, which is pretty similar. I'm just gonna paste them in. So we've got infinite scroll, which is the directive itself, then some config for that. So the, the distance, the immediate check, the infinite scroll throttle, and then whenever it's scrolled, it's gonna call a function, and the function it's gonna call is the contacts load more function. You can go and, and check out the source, the, uh, well, the GitHub repo to find out all the different parameters and what they mean. Um, it's not really too complicated. Okay. So that looks pretty good to me. Let me close this out here and let's build this. See if it's all working. Okay, let's refresh here. And yep, looks pretty good. If I scroll down, yep, you can see it's just loading at the bottom. So yep, there it goes. So it's loading, so it's pretty good. And then we're at the end. Excellent, it's all working and yep, the rest of this stuff's working as well. Okay, so in this lecture, we migrated across the person list component. A couple of things we had to deal with. Deal with. I want to show you what it's like 
to migrate or to convert from a downgraded angular js component to the proper angular component you do have to start you care about things like the kebab case and camel case which angular uses especially when you get the gotchas where we have attributes which kind of like this should be working but actually you need to also then convert the attributes back to camel case and just yet another example of how we dealt with a third party module just by finding a modern version of it and installing that and you saw it's actually really quick it's not it's not too complicated